full transparency. Uh, I have a long black, which is great. Um, I just need to fill you in on a couple of things. This is a very important message. So, I have a long black coffee now. Good. James, in 35 minutes, is joining Dr. Gluon for a Minecraft stream because there is a new Minecraft update today. So we will probably raid them after my stream. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say is I am planning a video for my channel and I really need your help with it because it's a little bit more complicated because I'm wanting to do a modular build, meaning I want to put rooms on the gallery that anyone who has like any of my viewers can download the rooms. And the idea is you can just quickly build a house with them in any orientation. So is Hi. there anything we need to consider? Hi. Hi, Annie. We can help. Ooh, I love this idea. Yeah. Um, Lisham, thank you for the prime sub. I just thought it'd be really cute and we could call it like the Delhi Mod Pack or something. Hi. Other side. Hi. Can I have a cuddle? I'm busy. What? <laughs> I'll be back for a second. I just want to cuddle. By the way, no idea what the back of my hair looks like today. Um, love that. Sounds epic. So maybe I'll just, let's get onto a really big lot and just bulldoze. Yay! Mmm, coffee. Hello. I, we never get to see each other. No, we never see each other anymore. That's funny. That face. That is quite funny. Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> Staying out of frame. Okay, I guess I can let go of you now. Have fun. Have fun with the glow squids. Oh, Why? I'm so annoyed that Moo Blooms didn't get voted in. Sucked. I didn't even play that much Minecraft and I'm livid. I don't want to quit. I don't play Minecraft anymore. No one wants glow squids. Only that dude who I don't know anything about him except for he cheated on speedruns. So it makes me even more upset. <laughs> Mithla, no! Also, guys, I know you've just met them, but um, <laughs> Mrs. Saurus, oh, Mrs. Supersaurus, I'm sorry, and Bry Supersaurus are actually newly engaged. So I feel like we should spam the chat with some love. And I know some of you guys who really are not in the mood for the couple content. I'm sorry, I do apologize because I know I'm bitter sometimes about it too. Um, but I just wanted to say big congratulations to them. It's exciting. Yay! Does anyone know what guy she was talking about? I don't, I don't even know his name. I really don't know anything about him. I don't know. Mrs. Supersaurus and I have known each other for a long time, so I'm very excited for her. And I guess this Bry Supersaurus guy too, he's all right. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the game. So like I said, what I'm thinking is uploading a series of rooms that you can put together to create a modular house. So why don't we start off with just like already created rooms from the game and see how they piece together. So let's say, because you, in case you guys don't know, you can actually just buy rooms um, and like piece them together from the catalog and you can like pick which color they're in. I love this. I actually find this incredibly satisfying to just like buy rooms and put them together. There's something about it like that's an organizational, <sighs> organizational satisfaction. I don't know. Let's just get a few of these. <gasps> Love these mismatched chairs. 
Oh my god, we are not doing a bowling alley. I already know what you guys are going to say about that. <laughs> oh, pretty babe! Dang, thank you! Oh my gosh, thank you so much! What have I done for these gifted subs today? Thank you so much! That's very, very kind of you. The Max's rooms don't piece together very well. Okay, well this is what, this is what I want to figure out. Like, why do they not work very well? What improvements can we make? I'm sorry, I don't know why I sound like that. Um, so let's say the kitchen, you want to connect to a lounge room. So you kind of plop them together like that. Well, the number one thing is the aesthetics don't really go. Um, they don't really go that well. Also, there's usually only one door on each side of the room. Um, I don't even know how we're going to do the, the doors and things, to be honest. So maybe you kind of have to put in the doors yourself. Also, any... Maybe they all need to be squares. Oh god, this is actually really difficult for my brain. If they're all squares, maybe we won't have any weird overlapping issues. I feel like door placement and consistent color story is the most important thing. All super boring shapes in my opinion. Oh, you think they'd be better if they were more interesting, but the more different shapes you have, the harder it is for people to piece together. And then the next thing is people are like, well, I don't know how to roof this. So we need to be able to tell people, you know, wait, can you add a, no, rooms can't have roofs added to them. We need to be like, okay, so this is how you can add a roof to them. What happens if we did it like, I don't know, this is actually quite a, quite puzzling have hallways to join things. That could be a good idea, Perry. Consistent windows and doors, yes. Because if they're all square, no, we'll need different squares and rectangles. Yeah, we'll still need that. Puzzling, like puzzles. <laughs> also, um, you guys know Jerome? My one beard whisker that grows once a month. It must be when I get my surge of testosterone before my period, because apparently that's a thing. I can feel him. Who's here? Does anyone else get a Jerome? Who's right there? Oh no, I lost him. I like, like, playing with him. Like, if you see me go like this, it's because I'm playing with my one whisker. You get that too, Claire Money? Wait, I want to show you guys. Oh, where is he? Can you see him? Mm, he's right there. <laughs> His family shows up too. I just get Jerome. Make random size shape rooms and people have to assemble them like a puzzle. Modular challenge. Oh, and see what people comes up with. Well, maybe we can turn it into a challenge. <laughs> yes, we love Jerome. Maybe we need, we need a Jerome emote, actually. It's just like a, a guy who's in the shape of a whisker who's like... And then I try and pluck him with my fingers, but it never works, so I'm gonna not do that. Okay. Well, maybe let's let's do like a test version. So I'll do I'll record separately for a video because I feel like I need to do a real time build video because I haven't done one for ages. 
Um, so let's just say, you know, there's a corridor piece. Um, we should have like an entrance room piece too. That could be nice. Like little entrance room. And then, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. We could do like a open living area. That would be simple. So like kitchen, dining, lounge in one big room. And then it could potentially have connected to it an entrance room, like a mud room. And then we could have like a hallway option. <gasps> hallway study option maybe? No, we'll do separate study room. Could have like, I, you know, I wish we could upload them to the gallery with different swatches like this. Actually, is little Dicker still in the chat? Or oh, 6M. Wait, 6M was in the chat as well. Do you, does 6M or Little Dickon know if you could somehow make like custom content default rooms so like your rooms could turn up here? Of course I'm here, bestie. Aww. Cause wouldn't that be cool if you could like just put my mod in your game and then you have the deligracy rooms here with different color options. You could give it a look or even, I don't know if you have any, maybe Ravashin or someone. I have no idea. I could ask, maybe I'll ask Grim Cookies. Actually, no, I can't ask Grim Cookies today cause it's his birthday. <sighs> You can space junkie. Cause I, I just think it'd be really cute. Cause then you could be like, okay, this is the delicacy room set. And then you can pick which colors, you know, we could even not even colors. We could have like modern swatch, traditional swatch and like Hampton swatch or something. <gasps> that is such a cool idea. I wonder if you can have more than three. I mean, it looks like you can, but you probably can't, hey. That'd be cool. That would be so cool. Okay, so optional entrance room. What kind of rooms do we need? So we could have an open floor plan. We could have a snug room, so like an extra living room. We could have a study. Pardon me. We could have a hallway. We could have, I feel like just regular schmegular rooms like this. Should we make them all base game? I would love a modern, traditional, and then more of a here are the basics, but go on your own direction. Oh yeah, like a super basic, but decorate yourself. No base game. We could do like a ma, oh, the ensuite. Yeah, we'll definitely need to have an ensuite and like a main bathroom. I feel like the main bathroom can be this shape. We should have a powder room as well. I mean, how many rooms do we want? Powder room, powder room. I feel like it, this is like Tetris. Oh my God, I love it. So powder room, bathroom. Hi, honey. Hi. Walk-in closet, yes, yes. 
We should do like a really nice big master. We could actually do a connect, should we do the walk-in walk closet like separate to the master bedroom or like a connected room? See ya, Sunny, have a good one. Have a good one. Riverstone, thank you so much for the one year. Yay! Happy one year. Thank you so much for your support. Closet walkthrough to ensuite. So, a separate, it's gotta be extra. Wait, wasn't this going to be the big, this was going to be the master bedroom. With like. Walk-in wardrobe and master bathroom. Holy, this is huge. Okay, I think we need to do these rooms like separately. <laughs> Maybe we should write this down. This is complicated. Okay, let me write it down. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me just, hold on, hold on. Let me just get, how should I do this? Let's get a document up. Yeah, I'll get InDesign. Um, the roof is going to be tough. Well, that's the other thing. I want to make sure the can you upload roofing? No, you can't. Happy one year, Riverstone. I almost feel like it's worth building all the rooms separately. I agree. I think doing it all at once is just messy. Okay, we're gonna make a list together. I don't, honestly, I don't really know if this fully fits into Sims 4 gaming category. I don't know. Mods, what do you think? How do we title this stream if we're doing this? So let's make our modular home list. Okay, modular. Oh, I'm not using minion. Oh. Wow, Arco is awesome, but we want to be classy today. Oh, there's no Helvetica around here. Right. Look up Metricon, Metricon houses, we could do. Planning a build should be the title, okay. Guys, what font do you want me to use? Cambria? Like pretending like I know what that is. Cambria? Mm, I do have a degree in graphics design. Mm. Um, planning a modular house for The Sims 4. I think that's fair enough title. Just to recap, this is for the dream makeover pack. No, not necessarily. I mean, you could probably just use it in your dream makeovers, but um, you definitely don't have to. Okay, so let's think about this, kids. Let's go here. Good old little deli to-do list. Never heard anyone did it. <laughs> okay, um, so what rooms do we want? Serif or sans serif? Hey, Milo. Oh my gosh. So, Comic Sans? <laughs> um, actually, Milo, have you met Bry Supersaurus and Mrs. Supersaurus? By the way, guys, if you're looking for any streamers, um, you should check out my best friend Milo's streams. No, I haven't. Oh, well, Milo... 
This is Bryce Supersaurus and Mrs. Supersaurus, fellow Australians. They know Tian. We go way back. I'll explain later, but um, they're lovely. You, you guys will hit it off together. I just feel like you guys will get along. New to streaming, all of that. <laughs> thanks, Juju Magumbo. Hey, Brian Todd. I'm good, thanks. How are you? And by the way, chat, this is Miller. Miller, this is chat. Chat, this is Bryce Supersaurus and Mrs. Supersaurus. Mrs. Supersaurus, Bryce Supersaurus, this is chat. <laughs> okay, we're coming up with a list. So, what do we need? We need, I think, an open living space um, would be good. I think we also need a powder room. I think we need regular bathroom. It's going to be a really big thing. Actually, we should put, we should put like plumbing rooms together. Um, and then we'll need an ensuite. Okay. And then, oh, we should have a laundry as well. Um, and an office, like a home office. Okay. And then we should have, hi Chad, it's a pleasure. What do you, what do you guys say when you meet people? Do you just go, hi, nice to meet you. I say, nice to meet you. <gasps> oh my God. Yesterday, guys, guys, yesterday when I was walking Bowser, there was a dog he really liked. And then I started speaking to the owner and the owner like asked me lots of questions and she was really nice. And I was like, oh my God, this girl is like so social. I love her. And then she's like, oh, so what do you do? And I said, I was a video editor. And I was like, what do you do? And she's like, I'm a private investigator. Do you think I'm being investigated? But I feel like if I was being investigated, she wouldn't tell me she was a private investigator, right? <laughs> mm. A greenhouse. Okay, let's do an outdoor area. Greenhouse. Maybe we could maybe do like a sunroom. A playroom for kids. Okay. Maybe like a, um, should we do a deck? Yeah, sounds like she blew up cover. Or is it like, they say I'm a private investigator because then they know that you will think that they're not investigating you because they said they were a private investigator. I'm a private investigator, but I'm not investigating you. Trust me. Poof. Reverse psychology. Exactly. Oh, a sunken patio. Dang. That would be quite nice. Sunken patio. A ballroom? Hmm. <laughs> is this Alex? As in Alex, what is it, Mc, McBeal? A gym? Oh yeah, a gym could be good. A meditation room. Oh my God, there's so many options. Um. Okay, then we have bedrooms. So I guess kid bedroom, teen bedroom. Master bedroom, butler room. Actually, no, then we're making a mansion. Music room, a room for collectibles. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe I'll do like, is that how you spell collectible? It isn't collectible. Oh my God, I can't spell collectible. Collect, oh, oh my God. Collect, I can't spell collectible. Oh my God. It's like a table, right? Collect table. Is that right? That looks wrong to me. It is able. No, it is I. 
Wait, half of you guys are saying I and half of you guys are saying A. I think it's his typeface. I blame the typeface, it's not me. Um, an at-home dungeon, that's pretty funny. You know, with this work that I do, like being an influencer, <laughs> it's such a lame name. I'm an influencer. <laughs> but like, I don't do much writing. I write emails, but I don't really do much writing. So my language is pretty appalling these days. An art studio. A sacrifice room. Content creator more fitting. I'm a content creator. <laughs> um, okay, what else do we need? What else do we need here? Wait, this is... I know this is probably really small for you guys watching on mobile, so I'm trying to zoom in a bit. Um, I'll just put another one here. There we go. No, let's not do that. I'm actually nervous because Miller's in the chat and Miller uses... Um, in design, and it makes me nervous because I don't know. It's like if you were doing acting and reading a script, and Meryl Streep was watching, you know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> By the way, this is a side thing, but I was reading that, you know, in The Devil Wears Prada, one of my favorite films. So part of the film's based in Paris and everyone went to Paris except for Meryl Streep because they couldn't afford to fly her there because she would have needed like a really nice hotel in first class probably. So they built all of the Paris stuff for her scenes in America and just didn't fly her. In my mind, you know how celebrities you have, like you imagine them in a certain way of what kind of person they are, even though you have no idea who they really are. Like Meryl Streep to me, in my head's like, not a diva. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, Imagine, like, not going with the rest of, like, the actors and crew. Because you're like, no, I, I deserve more. That's crazy. Oh, thank you for the essentials. Like, oh, that's crazy. Maybe there's more to the story. There's probably more to it. I, I don't, I, no, Meryl, Meryl would never do that. Butler's pantry. She can't be a diva. I know. Maybe there's more to the story. Look, we really, you never know what actually goes on. Someone who dislikes her made, might have just made that up. She'd never. A pets room? What would we put in the pets room there? Like a fireplace with a dog bed in front of it and food bowls. I mean, we could. Hmm. Oh, we probably need like a some kind of baby room. Toddler. How about we do like a toddler a baby room? <laughs> baby. Hey, baby. Craft. Ooh, I do like the idea of a craft room. I'll put it down here. Craft room. Is there anything else? We're not doing a bowling room. Did I do laundry? Yeah. 
I know someone said a butler's pantry. But I think we'll have to, like... This is, like, the first list, and then the second column will be the simplified list. Um, Shawnee Shaw, thank you so much for the six months. Whoop, whoop, woo, woo. This is a very large house. Yeah, we'll need to simplify it because I can't do three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Nineteen rooms in one video. A dining room? Well, I thought the dining could be in an open living space. So it'd be like kitchen, lounge, and dining, you know what I mean? The kitchen's part of the main area. What's my favorite house on Wisteria Lane? Ooh. I don't know. I don't think any of them are really my style, to be honest. Like, I don't think I would want to live in any of them. I'd probably renovate Gabby's house because it's big. <laughs> No, I wouldn't even want a big house. I'd love a big property, but not a big house. Mm. Miller, I can send you the recipe to it. I was really proud. Media room, home theater. Xavier, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy stream, baby. Let's call it en suite. Let's, yes, please, looks delicious. It took 15 minutes. It took 15 minutes. You could probably do it in 10. It was so easy. The trick is to get like nice quality rum in there without preservatives or additives. So don't like, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I will not tell you how to live your own life. But as an influencer, I think that you should pick ramen without a flavoring sachet. Sachet. I used to, I, you know, I didn't know it was pronounced sachet until I was at least 14. So I used to always call them sackets. <laughs> en suite, what a beautiful name. It is actually a really nice name. Like, so this is my family. I have Katie, I have Thomas, and then this is little ensuite. We don't stand the sacket, no. It's not pronounced sacket. No, it's pronounced sachet. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely, okay, let's, now we're going through the phase where we just pick open living space. You know what? I actually really miss sometimes working in like a team environment. Like sometimes working for yourself is kind of like, is it lonely? I don't know. I don't know if I'd describe it as lonely, but I kind of miss going to like a Monday meeting and like, I mean, I guess that's where a lot of people feel working from home. Sashay away. You know, like I always used to enjoy the Monday meetings with a coffee. Brainstorming's hard to do alone. Maybe it's just because we're brainstorming. But I'm not alone because I have all of you guys. Open living space. Okay, what are the definite things we need? We definitely need a main bathroom and an open living space, which will have lounge, kitchen, dining. And you missed my sub. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Can't see a sub. Oh, Sam Glavine, thank you so much for your prime sub. I'm very sorry I missed it. It's actually not in my mini feed. 
so I don't know. But thank you very much. Namaste. <laughs> I want to call my baby on sweet. Okay, so we have main bathroom. I missed yours too, Mason. I think what's happening is it's not coming up in my mini feed. I'm just not getting the resubs. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I messed something up because I'm trying to change to Streamlabs. Well, Mason, thank you so much. I love you and thank you for the 40, 40. Is that 40? Holy moly. That's crazy. Did you hear about Frenemies? I did. Um, I started watching Trisha's video today. I haven't watched the Frenemies yet though. James and I are gonna watch it tonight. What do you think? Do you think Trish is out of line? Do you think it's fair enough? <sighs> Main bathroom, master bed. I think we need an ensuite too. I think we need to have like a teen room and a kid's room and a baby toddler room. And I think we also need to have an office. And I think we also need to have a deck. I think this would be a good start. What do you guys think we need something else in this list? Like this one here, not this one. This one's our original ideas, but this one's the new ideas. You know what? Just to avoid any confusion, we're gonna have a bold session. Heck yeah. There you go. Um, Okay, little dicker. Aw, oh, thanks, Macon. I feel like she might be self-sabotaging. I hope they make up soon. Oh, a laundry room. Well, I wanna hear what she said about the crew. Cause that was, that sounded like the most problematic thing. Paris Perry, thank you so much for the two months. Happy two months. She might change her mind too. Well, she is, she has, she's a type of person who has, you know, times when it's difficult to control her emotions because of her life's history. So, Maybe it's like things have become too much for her and she'll actually be able to work it out with a little bit of time. I mean, she was just basically saying that they should get paid out of H3 money and that she should get to choose the crew for Frenemies. Yeah, I think they just have really different like production um, expectations. Like I think she's used to doing these like $100,000 video clips with really high level production. H3H3 H3 is still like, it's high level, but it has that element of amateur filming in a good way though, because it makes it really relatable and stays true to kind of that YouTube look and feel. I mean, I think uh, the vlogs could have, they could get a gimbal or something to stabilize the camera. <laughs> but I think, I don't know. They just seem like they're different people with different expectations. They need to meet in the middle, you know? Hey, Potato, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, maybe, Reniel. Do I think Trisha will stay gone? I don't think so. I think she'll come back. I mean, this is the thing. H3 has grown so much since Trisha came to them. So I feel like they will do whatever they can to keep her. But then Trisha has also grown so much from being on H3. So I feel like they both win. So even if not for oh so they have the whole business incentive 
to stay but also the personal incentive because they're like family members oh my god the tea the tea is hot Oh, Susie, I don't really know what you're talking about, but I still really enjoy being here with Deli. I like listening. That's nice. Isn't Trish non-binary? She... She says she's gender fluid and non-binary, I think. Wait, is non-binary gender or attraction? I forget. I'm so sorry. I'm really, I really do need to get more educated about this stuff. I really want to. I just get confused easily. Non-binary is gender. Yes, yeah, so she's gender fluid, so she's non-binary. This is according to what she said. And then she is attracted to anyone. So, pansexual? Yeah, her pronoun she. I mean, it's really up to the individual if they like they, them, but I think Trisha just says she, her. Oh, she refers to herself as bi. Oh, okay. All right, let's open living space, main bathroom, master bed, ensuite. Actually, um, Mrs. Supersaurus, do you, oh, and Miller, do you guys, and Tara, do you guys have any, um, or know of any, like, really good clear resources for learning more about um i guess phrases like and sexualities and genders because i really want to learn more because we have so many viewers from that are part of the rainbow family i want to really make sure that I'm educated and not naive and I don't want to make anyone feel like uncomfortable ever. The Trevor Project site. Bug wife, hello. Gender and sexuality identity, that's what I'm trying to say. You see, this is why I need help. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Mrs. Supersaurus. I appreciate it. Okay, so open living space, main bathroom, master bed, ensuite, teen room, kids room, baby toddler room, office, laundry room, and deck. That's like a family home. I mean, that should have everything someone needs, right? To start off with. Maybe an entrance room? Nah. Nah. Let's not do an entrance room. Toma, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> Good on you for trying, Deli. Thank you. I just, times are changing for the better. And I think it's awesome. And I want to be a part of it. A home dungeon, no. <laughs> uh, James's birthday has passed, but today is Grim Cookie's birthday. All right, let's go back to the Sims. What do you guys have as your desktop background? Mine's just like pink to match my headphones. Do you get it? It's like a little cute, like matchy match. Cause nothing else matches my headphones. So I was like, well, I'll make my background match. That was kind of cute. Um, I 
Maybe that would be good, Miller. I'm just really not very good with things. It takes me a while to learn things. Okay, so it says she, her, they, them on Trisha's. Okay. Okay, so if we do a living space, so we'll just do like a practice. So our living space, first of all, what should, what style of room should we start with for this modular home? Because we'll probably, I mean, I feel like modern matches the boxy modular theme. So maybe we should just do that. And maybe like all of the house is kind of the same from the outside. I mean, actually we could do like, we either go kind of plain basic or we go modern. Deli style, boho. Maybe deli style, but a little more traditional, like modern tradish. So it's a little bit more versatile for those of you guys who want like a more, you know, homely home. By the way, has Ariana Grande's house been toured? Since her wedding photos, I really want to see inside of her house. Does anyone know? Also, are we doing base game or are we doing everything? Yay, the bad gamer, welcome. And Toma, thank you so much again for the 13 months. And hey, Potato, thank you for subscribing. Hold up, Ariana Grande got married. Yeah. It's Ellen's old house. I think it is. Word is that Ellen is buying a house in my state, actually, which I found to be quite fascinating. Base game and seasons. Can we do the delicacy little dicker kitchen pack? Because I feel like that's iconic. <laughs> I mean, it's only one pack. It's only one pack. Please let me use it. Heck yeah. Free in one day, by the way. Oh my gosh. So if you guys aren't a Patreon to Little Dicker um, or subscribed, you will get access to the Little Dicker Delicacy Delicious Kitchen Custom Content Pack for free. Space, sleep, space, sleep, space, sleep, space, sleep. And I can demonstrate for you right now. Also, that's a quote from the Jetsons movie. So you can get these beautiful flowbuds. Actually, Mrs. Supersaurus, did you get a chance to have a look at this? Because I knew I sent it to you. It's okay if you didn't, by the way. Space sleep, space sleep, space sleep, space sleep. So I watched the Jetsons movie, which was made in like 1989 the other day. So good. I kind of love this mint color, but a lot of people probably won't like it. Do I go with what I like or do I go with... Maybe let's... I'm gonna go... I'm... I don't know what I want to do with my life. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna strip it back a bit. So yeah, we'll strip it back a bit. So I'll probably do something like this. Space sleep, space sleep, space sleep. Oh, it's such a good movie. Space sleep, space sleep, space sleep. You and me were meant to be in love. Don't let them dare us but you and me. Uh oh, we have a problem. Mm. 
Also, I think I need to re-download the better build and buy it because it like doesn't hide maxes sometimes. There we go. Angle, so thank you so much. It's so pretty. You're excited to check it out on the weekend. Yay! No pressure, but I hope you enjoy it. Um, Lil Dicko, we'll have to like make a big deal about it when we do release it for public. We should definitely post about it. Can you guys hear James? Oh, thanks, Prada Babe. You guys can hear him. That's so cute. Maybe we should finish up the stream then. Ah, oh, should we use the big fridge? There's something really nice about hearing James film. Like I love listening to him film. Do you think people will want like black sinks? Cause everywhere in Australia, like everything's, not everything, but a lot of kitchens have all the black fittings. Is, it, is this an international thing? Oh, you do want the big fridge? We love the, the big fridge, the magnets, please Deli, please. Okay, well I can't not give you a big fridge. All my fittings are black. But do you think it's just in Australia? Oh. I like silver. I've never seen black fittings in all my life. Well, James's place here has all the black fittings. Um. But I don't know, I think, I think for me, if I have a choice, oh, look at that beautiful stove top. I think I would probably go for like a, not gold, not like a yellow gold, but like a, and not a rose gold, but like a, um, like kind of a coppery old school looking color for a sink. I reckon that'd be sick. But then I'd probably just go silver, so I'd never date. So I'm thinking this kind of a kitchen. Maybe with, um, maybe with, Oh, is Sixum still in the chat? Because these I got Sixum's latest um, CC pack. Pretty cool. That's why I love these. These are really cool. Oh, man, I like this. I wonder who made this. Woo! Mm, I love this window. Ugh. Who made this beautiful window? Um, Bonifier, thank you so much for the one year. Happy one year. Thank you so much um, for your ongoing support. Like a brass gold? Yeah, like a brass gold. That's a good way. Um, CC Pack is out for public download tomorrow. Um, or if you want to contribute to Little Dicker's Patreon, um, you can get early access now. Today, actually. Okay, so this can be the kitchen and then we'll do like a dining area. I mean, this is pretty like stocker standard coloring, right? Oh wait, this is the wrong wallpaper. I'm so sorry, little dicker. How could I be such a traitor to you? 
and not use our wallpaper. But really with this pack, we wanted it to go really, really well with the existing Maxa stuff as if it was like part of the base game almost. Maybe a little bit more modern looking, but more or less kind of that idea of basics. Could put in this one. Actually, no, we'll do like a longer table. Something like this, maybe. And we can have some basic chairs. And maybe. Yeah, I don't know what packs to use. We could use like, maybe I could just use like tiny living. And then we'll put like a, a lounge room over here as well. Ravishin made one. You just want a mini fridge. Oh, mini fridge that like sits in the counter. Oh no, you didn't get your normal notification for this stream. Oh, that's a bummer. Ravishin is awesome. Actually, Ravishin made, well, Ravishin helped with the magnets on the fridge because this fridge, there are magnets to go on it. Um, but Ravishin actually made, a really, really cool thingy me, Bob of Magic. I think it was in. Ah, here we go. So, this is what Rob Machine made, which I think is so cool. It's like a, um, a shelf. They're all there. There's a series of shelves, like different um colors and styles and stuff but this you can just put on the wall and then put stools under it and this can be like your dining area so your sims can sit down and eat here i'm pretty sure you can even just put a laptop on there too oh no you can't put laptops on there but your sims can eat there which i thought was really cool I wish, I wish you could put a laptop up there actually. Um, but I thought they were really cool. And also the P, the, the potty, potty pads. Um, so if your sim lives in an apartment, you don't have to take them out all the time. I was meant to download those too. I feel like with the custom content, creators collaboration with EA it would have been really good that free update for someone to have made a fireplace because I feel like we really need more fireplaces Ugh. so if we're only doing tiny living as the add-on pack we'll need to use like a base game fireplace we could just use this one maybe we could use the new pack as well as tiny living Maybe those are like in base game. Cause this pack's awesome. I love Dream Home Decorator. Like I was a little bit suspicious at first, but I've ended up really liking it. And people call me a bootlicker, but whatevs, I like it. Do, 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 do. So maybe we do something like this. Um, use all packs, Deli. Be free! <laughs> Be free, Deli. Fla. Oh, what? I've totally forgotten in all of my builds to put the armrest on this side. Fla home, buddy. Fla home. Love that. It just clips together. So I think I'll do something like this for my modular build. So at least the living area is just all in one. So you can just whack the whole room down, bam, you're ready to rumble. And then we can like put a corridor off of here, like a corridor room. 
and then we can have like the bathroom and bedrooms coming off of this. So you can just like place them around. Maybe the rooms need to be a touch bigger actually. It's really hard to get the scale right. I need this so for my life. You do, you absolutely do. Oh no, is that what you guys were saying with no, the stone's gone. Oh no. I lost it. There we go. Wee. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to finish the stream here. I've got a good plan for that video. So thank you so much. And we're going to raid Dr. Gluon who right now is um, trying out the new Minecraft update with James Turner YT, previously known as The Sim Supply. So thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Thank you so much for the, the subs and resubs and gifted subs um, and all your love. I love you guys. And um, sorry if today was a bit of a weird stream. It was a bit all over the place, but I really enjoyed it. So I hope you did too. Um, Loz, this is the delicious, um, deli and little dicker kitchen. Um, it should have been sent to you in subscriber emails. So, check your emails, it should be there. And thanks guys for dropping in. It's been so much fun. And check out Bryce Superstars and Miller's stream as well. We stand. Let's raid Dr. Gluon with um, Deli Peace and Love emotes. <laughs> yeah, let's raid this. Actually, just any Deli emotes. Deli eels, Deli cringe, baby delis. And if you're not subscribed, just anything that makes your soul sing can read them with. Thanks guys. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Okay, are we ready to raid? Are you ready to raid? Are you ready to raid? Okay, I'm gonna raid now. In just a second. I'm trying to get to 400. Yes, we just got to 400. Click on that raid button, you guys. Raid ready. Okay. See you guys. Bye.